This is the majestic weeping willow that greeted me, that stopped me in my tracks the day that I went to visit my mother in long-term care for the first time. It was right at the corner of the street where her residence was, and I just felt this deep connection, this deep moment of communion. Weeping willows are not common for me. Where I live now in Newfoundland, I, I'd never seen any. And so when I went to Ontario and saw this, and not only this one, during the two weeks that I was there, whether I was on a road trip with my father in southern Ontario to visit his land where he grew up, the land where, you know, the land of his ancestors, every single weeping willow seemed to grab my attention, to turn my head. It was like if a whole species was connected and communing with me. I don't remember ever having such a strong connection to a species of trees. And every time I visited my mother while I was there, this tree and I had a few moments together. And on the day of the tornadoes uh, in Ottawa, where it touched down six times, I was there in the afternoon and the strong winds were just dancing in this tree. The tree was swaying and some of its branches had fallen to the ground and someone was harvesting them. And I made that connection that the willow branches are what are used to create dream catchers. And I had just finished a very sacred painting called Dream Catcher and a prayer to go with it. I was still working on the prayer of the sacred willow. And so there was all these connections with the species, with the trees, and of course with my mother. The weeping willow is of the watery realm of emotions. It's a tree about emotion. It's a tree about intuition. Develop, it helps you to develop psychic abilities. It was a very appropriate tree to be dancing with, to be communing with. And so as I painted this painting, like many of my intuitive paintings, I had no idea where it would go, how I would do it. All I knew is that I was going to paint a weeping willow. And so what you've been watching here is the process of intuitive painting layer by layer by layer, not knowing what the next layer will ask for, or will call for. So enjoy seeing the rest of this co-creation.
I received an intuitive message that I was going to receive an offer for it and that I was to accept that offer. I was also told not to name the painting, that the person who was moved to purchase it would name it. And I received a Facebook message on the day that I posted the final painting from one of my clients and uh, she basically said how she cried when she saw it online and that it reminded her of her friend who had just passed, who had just transitioned back to the spirit world. And later that day, after she came to see it and decided to purchase it, she gave me the name for it. She called it Wisdom of the Matriarch. And it's no coincidence that it also relates to my experience, to the species of weeping willows, to that tree on that, the first one that I saw on that street, and to the whole experience of painting it. We are joined together, intricate connections, all in that divine oneness. And this is yet another example of that beautiful experience. Namaste.